Hello and welcome to another Digital DJ Tips Your Questions video. And today's question is about software and hardware advice for the complete beginner, the cheapest way to start in digital DJing. And this comes from Christoph. He says, I'm a complete beginner. I've used Virtual DJ Home on my Mac for free, uh, but not to any real extent. But now I want to learn and I want to get set up without spending an absolute fortune. And he wants to play uh, his own wedding vows renewal in about a year's time. So good luck, Christopher, with that. You've got time to learn. That's a good thing. So let's look today at some of the real cheap ways of getting started properly in digital DJing. Well, believe it or not, the cheapest way is this little baby. It's just a cable. It's called a DJ splitter cable. It's important to go for DJ splitter cable and not just any old splitter cable like the ones you see on sale in the airport to share your iPod with your girlfriend or whatever. This is a special cable and what it does is turn the output from your laptop into two outputs, two special ones, one for the headphones and one for the speakers. So with this, you can have the headphones that you need to cue the next track in as a DJ. It's one of the most fundamental things of DJing that you can hear something different from your audience. $10, plug that in, use Virtual DJ Home software, which is free download from CNET, and you're off, that's your start. All well and good, but I bet you're thinking, you know, I want some hardware, I want something to actually use. And that would be the next step. But luckily, it again, doesn't have to cost you very much. So currently, a really good way of starting with Serato, which is a, a great program, is this, the Gemini um, Slate. This is a Slate 2, very simple little controller, under $200. Buy that, you're off. All you need is your laptop and a pair of headphones. It's got the headphones and audio outputs all built in. So really that's all you need. You know, $10, $20 on a cheap pair of headphones. And if you don't already have some, and let's face it, we all do, and you're away. If you want to spend a bit more, maybe you're looking at this and thinking that looks a bit small, you know, I've got big fat hands or whatever, I just want something a bit bigger. Well, for $20 or $30 more, an extremely popular uh, controller is the Newmark Mixtrack. This is a Mixtrack Pro 2, there's actually a Pro 3 out there nowadays, but for $230 it's just a bit bigger and a bit more substantial than the little Gemini controller. But uh, again, Serato's in the box, uh, a nice beginner version of that software you don't have to pay any more money for, and there's plenty to learn on. Um, so moving up from that, but not moving up massively in price, is this little controller, one of the most popular controllers at the moment. It's the Pioneer Wego 3. And the reason this is popular is because it's, A, it's a nice little controller, it, it works really well, but B, it's very versatile, it works with all kinds of software. And in the box with this controller, you actually have licenses for not only Serato, like the other two I've just shown you, but also Virtual DJ, the software program that you're used to, Christoph. So uh, you, can, you can use that with both of those. On top of that, which I think is really neat, you can use a piece of software for your iPad. So if you want to use the iPad, let's just get that software up on my screen now so you can have a little peek at it. Uh, there's a piece of software called DJ, DJAY, if you're going to go and search for it in the store. It looks like this, a couple of decks, uh, and it's very cheap. You know, it's going to cost you a few dollars. And that, this is the beautiful bit, that kind of slots in on the back of the little DJ we go three and you put a little lead in there to plug the two together and now you've got a full DJ system without even going near your laptop. I think that's really nice, especially if you've already got an iPad of course, otherwise it starts to get more expensive. 299 for one of those. And then moving up to Tractor, Tractor's going to cost you a bit more to get going on. Uh, for $399, you can buy the Tractor Control S2, which is an all-in-one controller for Tractor software. It comes with the Tractor software in the box, so there's a saving there. All the other ones come with the intro version of Serato or Virtual DJ, where you have to pay a bit more to get the full version. But this comes with the Tractor software in the box, so you're not paying extra to upgrade to a better version of the software later down the line. So for $399, it's a really good way into Tractor. And in fact, for a lot of people, you're never going to want anything more than that, even once you're really good and once you've got accomplished. So hopefully there's some ideas there for getting started. Christoph, you've got a really long time, at least a year before your wedding vows, to, to practice. And my last piece of advice is once you've bought your gear and once you've got your software, stop worrying about the gear, stop worrying about the software and do the learning because you can learn the same skills on all of this stuff or just on your laptop using one of these. It ain't about the gear, it's about the music. Hope you've enjoyed this and if you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel or even better, go off to digitaldjtips.com and join up at the bottom of the page where you can get a free DJ controller guide that tells you all our latest advice on controllers for all software and lots more. So go and download that now. It's been great having you here. This has been another Your Questions for Digital DJ Tips with me, Phil Morse.